Hello friends. In this video, we will understand the concept of isomerism. Let us see how isomerism is defined. The organic compounds having the same molecular formula but having different structural formula or physical or chemical or both properties are called isomers and the phenomena is called isomerism. So what is important in isomers uh, is they have the same molecular formula. Now we will see how isomers are classified. Classification isomerism. It has been classified into two categories structural isomerism and stereoisomerism. So what are structural isomers? Uh, structural isomers have the same molecular formula but connectivity of atoms or group of atoms is different or arrangement of atoms or group of atoms is different. We will understand this concept by taking few examples in a similar manner stereoisomers how they are defined. They have the same molecular formula same connectivity of atoms or group of atoms but different spatial arrangement. It means that the atoms are arranged in different way in space. Now let us understand the term structural isomerism by taking few example. The first is C4H10. It has two structure CH3, CH2, CH2 and CH3. One more structure is possible which is CH3, CH, CH3, CH3. So here you can see that the connectivity of CH3 group in both the compound is different. As connectivity is different, their names are different. This is my butane and this is my 2-methyl propane. So they are structural isomerism. The second example is C2H6O. In this also we have two structures CH3, CH2OH and CH3OCH3. So looking at its structure we can say that these two compounds are different. So here atoms or group of atoms are arranged in a different way. Here the name is ethanol alcohol group is present and here it is methoxy methane means ether group is present. So in the first case the connectivity is different in the second case the arrangement or group of uh, or uh, group of atoms are arranged in a different way. Now let us see the examples of stereoisomers. The first is C hydrogen bromine chlorine and fluorine same hydrogen fluorine chlorine and bromine. Yeah, you can see that this all the four atoms are connected in a similar manner in both the compounds. But the spatial arrangement is different. Yeah, the name of this compound is R 1 bromo 1 chloro 1 fluoro methane and the name of this compound is S 1 bromo 1 chloro 1 fluoro methane here what is R what is S we will see in, in other videos and I will explain this term also the second example is 2 butene two structures are possible here 
here you can see that the connectivity in both the compound is same but the arrangement is different here two ch2 group are in opposite direction whereas in this case two ch3 group are in the same direction here it is my trans but twin and this is my cis but to in so we have seen what are structural isomers as well as what are stereo isomers so the broad classification of isomerism is as follow isomerism they have been classified into structural isomerism and stereo isomerism what are structural isomerism and what are stereo isomerism we have already discussed this structural isomerism are further classified as chain position ring chain functional metamerism and tautomerism this stereo isomers are further classified as configurational isomers and conformational isomers configurational isomers are further classified as geometrical and optical so in the next video we will see each and every isomer how they are defined and we will try to understand by taking examples in the next video i will explain what are chain isomers thank you hope you have understood if you have any doubts then please write in the comment section and i will try to solve it thank you if you find this video useful then please subscribe and press the bell icon for latest updates